Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me again, Jinder Lagito Malingi or just for me, Teacher Jinder, a licensed professional teacher major in mathematics. Ako po ay gumagawa ng mga Tagalog math tutorial mula grade 7 hanggang grade 11. Ito po ay tulong at dedikasyon para sa mga pagulang, sa mga magtuturo at lalo-lalo na sa ating mga kabataan. Ayan, kung bago ka pa lang sa aking YouTube channel, don't forget to like and share and hit the notification bell para updated ka sa aking mga bagong video na ipapalabas. Stay tuned! Magandang araw, muli ako po si Teacher GM. Ngayong hapon, tatalakayin po natin continuation po sa ating topic last meeting. Di ba ang ating topic last meeting was all about operation of functions? Since tapos ako tayo sa addition and subtraction of functions, so ngayon, tatalakayin natin ang multiplication at saka division of functions. But bago ang lahat, mag-recap muna tayo. Ano nga ba ang formula ng addition of functions? Okay. So we have the quantity of f plus g times x equals f of x plus g. Diba? The quantity of f plus g times x equals f of x plus f of g. Ayan, nakuha. Okay. How about subtraction of functions? Ano ang ating formula? The quantity of f minus g times x equals f of x minus g of x. Ayan, nakuha. Okay, ngayon, punta na tayo sa multiplication at division of function. So, ano nga ba ang multiplication of function? So, ang multiplication of function, meron din tayong formula. So, ito ay, we have f times g, and the quantity of f times g times x equals f of x times g of x. Okay, yan po ang ating formula. Tandaan nyo yan. So, ngayon, to find the product of a functions, put parentheses around them and multiply which terms from the first function to each term of the second function. So, ibig sabihin, lagyan nyo lang ng parentheses around them and i-multiply natin by term from first function to another term or the second function. Okay, for example, magbigay ako ng halimbawa tulad nito. Ayan. So, for example, ganito. Ayan, ang ating f of x is meron tayong ayan, 2x squared plus 3. How about ang ating g of x? Ang ating g of x, we have, meron tayong 4x. Ayan, 4x squared plus 1. So, ayan. Okay, let's try it. So, ano nga ba ang ating formula? So, we have... The quantity of f times g times x, we have f of x times f g of x. Okay, since multiplication ng ating functions ngayon, so ano ang dapat natin gawin? So, i-apply natin yung, anong i-apply natin? The which is a FOIL method. So, ano nga ba ang FOIL method? So, we have f stands for what? Our first term. How about O stands for our outer term? How about I stands for inner term? And the last we have, this is our last term. So for example, tulad nito. Ayan. Tulad nito ng ating halimbawa. Ayan. So 2x squared plus 3. Ayan. Times 4x cubed plus 1. So, kung i-apply natin yung FOIL method, ano ang ating first term? So, this is our first term. Ayan. Okay, so we have 2x squared times 4x cubed. Tama? Okay, plus. Next, foil method. Next is outer term. Next to 2x squared, that is 3. So, we have 3. Are you sure? Next to inner term, that is? So, next to ating first term. So, we have outer term. So, i-times natin to papunta dito. Kuha. So, we have 2x squared times 1. Okay. Next, what will you do? Inner term. Nasaan ang ating inner term? Ayan. Ito ang ating inner term. So, we have plus 
3 times next we have 4x cubed. Tama? Okay. Plus. Ayan. Next is ito ang ating fuel. Letter L. Last term. So we have 3 times 1. Nakuha. Okay. Multiply natin. So we have 2x squared times 4x cubed. That is 2, 2 times 4. That is 8 at Ayan. 8x. Paano natin ito i- gawin ng exponents. Since multiplication ang ating problem, so ang ating exponents ay i-add natin. So, 2 plus 3, that is 5. Okay, plus, next is 2x squared times 1, that is 2x squared. Ayan, plus, 3 times 4x cubed, that is well, 3 times 4, that is 12. 12x cubed. Next, we have plus, 3 times 1, that is 3. Ayan, asundan. Okay, next. Next, we have i-arrange natin from gikan sa biggest padulong sa smallest. So, so we have meron tayong 8x power 5 plus 12x cubed plus 2x squared plus 3. Is it the final answer? So, yan po ang ating final answer. Ayan, nasundan. Okay, magbigay ako ng ibang halimbawa. Okay, another example. So, if meron tayong f of x equals, we have x squared plus 2. Tapos, ang ating g of x, meron tayong, ayan, meron tayong um, uh, 2x plus 4. Ayan. So, ayan. Anong ating formula again? So, we have f times g times x equals f of x times g of x. Ayan. So, so, x squared plus 2, ayan, times the quantity of 2x plus 4. Ayan. Sundan. Okay? I-apply natin yung full method. So, we have x squared, ayan, x squared times 2x, 2x plus x squared times 4, ayan. Next, ang ating inner term. So, you have 2 times 2x. Ayan. Tuha. Plus. Followed by last term. 2 times 4. Ayan. Tuha. Okay. Next is multiply natin. So, x squared times 2x. That is 2x cubed. Kasi meron siyang exponents 1. So, 2 plus 1. That is 3. Plus x squared times 4. That is 4x squared. Plus, plus we have 2 times 2x, that is 4x. Plus 2 times 4, that is 8. Next, what will we do? Is it the final answer? Yes, this is our final answer. Bakit? Kasi, naka-arrange na po siya from biggest, highest term. Pababa. O, diba? Mas easy lang. Okay, now let's move on to division of functions. So, ano nga ba ang division of functions? Ayan, magbigay ng formula sa division of functions. Ating formula sa division of functions is what? So, we have f, f over g, ayan, times x equal, what? f of x over or divide g of x. Yan po ang ating formula. Tandaan nyo yan. Okay, for example, mayroon tayong uh, f of x, so, 2x squared plus 3. Ang ating g of x, we have, meron tayong 4x squared plus 1. Okay, but bago ang lahat, in finding the quotient, excluding the value of x when g of x is not equal to 0. Kasi, kung ang ating g of x ay equal to 0, ito ay magiging undefined siya. Nagets? Okay, to find the quotient of two functions, put the first one and other the second one. Again, to find the quotient of two functions, put the first one over the second. Nakuha or nasundan. Okay, halimbawa, ito ang ating halimbawa. We, ang ating f of x equals 2x squared plus 3. Ang ating g of x, that is 4x squared plus 1. Okay, so now, i-compute natin. 
So, bago tayo mag- mag-solve, so take note that kapag pwede pa natin i-factor ang ating given, so, kailangan natin i-factor, hanapan natin yung, ano, common nila. So, kapag ang ating given ay, well, hindi na kailangan i-factor, so, ibig sabihin, yan po ang ating final answer. Okay, like for example, this one. Ayan. So, we have, so, we have f of g equal yun, 2x squared plus 3 over 4x squared plus 1. So, sa tingin nyo ba, may common ba sila or wala? May common ba sila or wala? Ayan. This is cube. That is cube. 4x cube. Ayan. 4x cube. May common ba sila? Wala. So, meaning... Wala silang common. So, ibig sabihin, yan po ang ating final answer. Okay, magbigay ako ng halimbawa na may something or may common ng ating denominator at numerator sa ating given problem. Okay, like this one. So, we have f of g So, we have ang ating f of x. Meron tayong uh, meron tayong 8x minus 8 Tapos, ang ating f of g, meron tayong 2x minus 2. Ayan, yan po ang ating problem. So, anong ating formula? So, yung f over g, ayan, equal 8x minus 8 over 2x minus 2. So, ngayon, based on the given problem, meron ba silang common or wala? So, meron silang common, which is 4. Ayan. So, paano natin yan isosolve? Sa pamagitan ng long division or ayan, ito na lang ating gagamitin. Long division ayan, divide 2x minus 2. So, anong common nila? 4. So, lagyan natin 4. 4 times 2x 4 times 2x that is 8x. 4 times negative 2 that is negative 8. Subtract. So, since subtraction neg positive magiging negative, negative magiging positive. So, cancel, 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 cancel. So, sa atang So, ano ang ating sagot ngayon? So, we have equals to 4. So, yan lang po ang ating sagot. Nakuha. Do you have any questions? Any more clarifications? Okay, and that's all for today. At sana meron kayong napupulot na aral sa ating story ngayon. See you to my next vlog. Bye-bye. God bless everyone. I'm back. Ayan. Kung nakatulong po ito sa inyo, please like this video at mag-comment na rin kayo sa baba. It's me again, Teacher JM. Laging nagsasabi, stay safe, stay home, stay healthy, at mag-aral ng mabuti para sa may magandang kinabukasan. See you to my next vlog. God bless and goodbye.